This is the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. Oh my goodness, the figure looks great in terms of aesthetics and design. I'm really quite pleased at the way it turned out. I will have some comments regarding plastic quality and I think uh, that's because this mold borrows uh, heavily from the skids mold. It's not a direct repaint. There's some changes done uh, with the molding and parts here and there, but the engineering is definitely borrowed. So the poor plastic quality that some of the bits and pieces that came with that skids mold is going to be here in this mold, in this figure as well. I'll, I'll talk about that later. But overall, uh, the way it looks, the colors, the details, even the alt mode looks fantastic. Let's take a closer look at the details of this figure. Let's begin with some comparisons. Here is Skids and the ever fantastic figure Burnout. You guys know how I feel about Burnout. And you can see it's a different mold. You got different shoulders. You got different... Uh, chest pieces or torso pieces, obviously a different head sculpt. The feet are the same, shins are the same. The rear parts of the legs, the these bits right here on the sides are obviously different. The forearms, biceps are the same. Sh uh, shoulders are different. So the car bits are obviously going to be very different. So it's not exactly a heavy retool of the skids mold. I would say it's a brand new mold with borrowed engineering uh, from the skids mold now the only accessories he comes with are this boom box no it's not a boom it kind of feels like it's a boom box yeah uh, but it's actually a machine gun or a blaster rifle which forms also his grill uh in in car mode. it's kind of a lazy gimmick but you know and then the smoked clear plastic version of the skids and burnout gun. He doesn't have the twin guns. He doesn't got, have a um, uh, the Energon weapons. So you're thinking, are you getting a raw deal with this figure? Uh, perhaps, but I think it more than makes up for the extra car bits. Um, not sure that's completely justifiable, but yeah, I guess that's their their justification for increasing the price and just reducing the accessories because they put out some engineering and extra bits in the car but you know that's it's a pretty lame excuse uh anyway here's the figure the details are great um like i said cheap plastic here uh, the the biceps you got cheap plastic on the feet just like the skids mold but overall uh, a lot of the plastic kind of feels premium because of the high gloss paint that they've applied especially on the car uh, roof the doors you got a little bit of the Decepticon logo right here an emblem just behind his, his head that's because that form, forms part of the hood the head sculpt looks great it's just painted so nicely uh, I, I really like how it turned out uh, you got a really nice painted uh, chest that's been great sculpting i guess that's where all the budget went a lot of the a lot of the high gloss paint the metallic paint some paint right here i can imagine that's where they put the money but i don't think they put it here or or, or a lot here so lots of clear bits now in the 80s or late 80s i think he looked something like this and it was a trigger con because the gimmick was you would press a button and out pops the weapons like his two shoulder mounted cannons or uh through the windshield he's got those cannons uh trigger con you press something a trigger and it activates the weapon so that was the gimmick back in the day. So it was a pretty cool toy. So I'm kind of glad we're getting these obscure characters in Generations format. Now he doesn't have that switch or trigger to activate a weapon. He does, however, have these two mini, uh, I guess, shoulder ca rocket cannons. I, I don't know what they are. They're molded in, they ha they're on hinges. They kind of swing about. You'll need to swing them uh, backward and a little bit forward in transformation. but. They're basically useless because the pegs are like five millimeter ports and no, bl I haven't found a blast effect that would fit it. Um, yeah, even the ports of, of the guns, they're, they're just too big. I think it's a four and a half millimeter port 
or pig and it's kind of useless i think they just added it as a they just want to pay homage to the trigger con toy but uh yeah it is what it is um it, it you know it is appreciated that they're trying to do that but uh given the fact that he's missing some weapons he's lacking weapons it would have been nice if these were actually you know functional anyway so that's that uh, articulation for the figure, he's got a bull jointed neck, you got a waist swivel, a little bit of an ab crunch going on because of transformation. The shoulders can go in and out, uh, you can swing right here, you can swing right there. Uh, bicep swivel, hinge elbow, swivel, the wrists do swivel. Uh, the hips and legs, they articulate much like skids. Uh, nothing changed there. So transformation, ah, man, it's a little tricky because it's a little tight. Um, okay, I'm going to do my best to show it off. Uh, first, you want to do the weapon. You want to fold this up like that. And you put the weapons off to the side. Okay. Um, this is what you do. You want to fold the hood up like that. And then the chest is going to fold up like this. And you kind of want to squeeze in that hood, snap in behind the bonnet. Okay, and then make sure those guns are staying put because you're going to need to bring the hips all the way up there. And they're going to touch those guns. Okay, uh, let's do that. Yeah, let's try and do that first because if I put the arms, they're going to block the view. We're not going to be able to see it. So fold the legs up like this. Uh, make sure they're aligned properly. And then fold uh, that... I guess midsection all the way up like that. And then you open these bits right here, fold them like this. And you wanna you wanna push that roof, the back part, all the way back so that it tabs on to the back of the feet. And you'll know you've done a good job if everything just folds flush. Okay. Maybe you should have done that before the arms, but I, you should do the arms first, but I just wanted to do that first so you could see how it worked, okay? Uh, so now maybe we have to undo it just so we can have enough clearance for the arms. The arms are gonna go like this, and they're gonna transform like this, and then tab in like that. Same on the other side. Fold, fold, and then tab in like that, okay? And then you can do the, the legs properly Okay, and fold it up like this. Okay, and then the doors, you're gonna swing them down and tab them, squish them into the legs and the shoulders. Yeah, it's not the most perfect transformation. It just loves to come undone. And then the rear wheels are gonna pop up like that. And this is the most important part of the transformation. You wanna stick that gun up here in front to cover the chest and form his grill and that's that let me let me just hold off putting this one on in because you can't obviously put it here but we're not gonna do that yet uh, there you go there is crank cases i guess this would be like an off-road suv a sub subcompact suv uh, there's like a Honda City vibe going on at the back and then in front it kind of feels like it's a, like a mini Hummer. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, one observation that I do that I did make is on the rear part of the vehicle, you get some peg holes right there and uh, they're, they're uneven. They're placed uneven because there's a spare tire right here and I kind of guessing there was supposed to be an accessory right here uh, much like or akin to this bumper that you could put in and plug in right there that would be another accessory been another blaster rifle that could be a possibility but they decided to scrap it because you know hasbro loves to pamper their fans they want to spend money and all that <laughs> they really want to give us the best but they just ran out of I don't know they went cheap or something like that but uh, there, there there should have been something right here maybe a grill or like um like a gasoline tank or whatever but uh, they didn't do it for some reason one reason or another so okay now here you can really appreciate how nice that uh, high gloss black paint is 
and yeah you got this blue stripe right here you got this really nice sort of it's kind of a glossy metallic feel right here on on the bonnet very very cool i'm just very happy with the aesthetics and the overall look of both modes for this figure so in, in, because there's no gas tank I'm, I'm gonna have to put the gun right here and yeah uh the, the alt mode rolls very very smoothly and i just really love how this turned out and for comparisons in alt mode here are skids and burnout once again in their car mode yeah he's, he's about he's about the same size as these other two uh, i still think the best use of this molder engineering is still skids skids is still my favorite he's gonna come in second and obviously burnout is gonna come in last and so some final thoughts on this new transformers a legacy crankcase i think it's a great figure it's gonna get a nine out of ten i was pleasantly surprised at how well it turned out. I had my comments about lack of accessories and some uh, cheap plastic bits, but overall, I think it's the second best use of this mold or this engineering. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this new Legacy Crankcase. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.